Get ready to be inspired as I share seven amazing outdoor space makeovers that I think are going to encourage you to inject some color into your surroundings this year. Let's get started. For this first outdoor space makeover, I want to add more cheerful colors to the small front porch at our tiny lake house rental. Plus, I want to make the space more comfortable for our guests. I'm moving this bistro set to the back deck and I found these rocking chairs that I think add just the right amount of comfort and texture to this little porch. I love the green siding we have, so I'm choosing an accent color that's opposite on the color wheel, a bright coral pink, to add some life into this space. I created a simple wreath by adding a coral fabric bow to this old faux boxwood wreath I had on hand, and I'm hanging that on the front door. I love how this mint green looks with this coral color, so cute. Some colorful cushions, planters, and faux plants make this space colorful but super low maintenance, which is really important for us for this vacation rental. I love how much more comfy this porch is and how all of these happy colors work together. Let me know what you think of this update in the comments below. For this next makeover, I wanna add some personality to this back deck on this new build. I wanna give it a boho flare, so I'm hanging this macrame chair from the beams and stringing these outdoor lights. Next, I'm attaching these faux greenery panels from Ikea on the privacy screen to give this deck some color and texture, and then I'm building this amazing DIY outdoor sofa. I used some cedar lumber to make this, and I'm staining it a rich ebony color. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below for the plans I used for this build. They're Anna White plans, and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be to make this sofa. Highly recommend this project. I finished off this DIY sofa with some outdoor cushions I found at Ikea, which was actually the most expensive part of this project. I also made a boho style jute ottoman out of an old tire from my friend's tire shop and some jute rope that I finger crocheted. And I actually love how this turned out and it was such a fun and unique project. I'm adding some more plants to give this space some texture and some accent pillows to add some color and style. A side table with a lantern gives this deck a warm and cozy feeling and I love how this space turned out. It's ready for relaxing or entertaining and it looks so much more put together. I wanted to add some soft colors to our front porch, so I started by creating this simple DIY wreath for my front door with blush pink faux peonies, faux lavender, some succulents, and some black and white ribbon. I love this sort of French country look, and making DIY wreaths is such a great budget-friendly way to add some personality to your front door. To add some texture to the porch floor, I'm creating this rug with some jute rope and a crochet hook. This is so easy, even if you know only a couple of crochet stitches. And I will link to this full tutorial down in that description box below. I'm making this little cute faux floral arrangement and I'm adding some faux greenery to the porch. I love the look of faux boxwood and this works really well in our climate when it doesn't really get warm here until May. I'm adding it to the simple table I made from a couple of stumps and some upcycled wood. Because it doesn't get warm here for such a long time, I'm adding these faux pieces to my space because it helps make it feel more vibrant and alive until I can add some real plants. I love how these purple and green DIY pillows and white pillows look on our turquoise sofa. The purples and the blues just look so beautiful together. I also made these curtains on our porch with some drop cloths and I love how they add some privacy and some style to the space. Here's how this cozy front porch looks now, and it's ready to enjoy the spring season. So I had the opportunity to make over this little front porch at a show home in Edmonton, so I got to work building some simple DIY chairs from 2x4s. This is another really easy Anna White plan, so I'll leave the link to the instructions on how to make these in that description box below. You could leave them plain or stain them, but I'm gonna paint them white so they look bright and cheerful on this little front porch. I placed two of these chairs on the porch and I'm adding some comfy black and white cushions I found just at the grocery store, as well as a yellow striped accent pillow. 
I also added a table in the middle with some colorful accents and I'm planting some yellow and blue flowers in these planter pots for even more color. I'm placing the pots in some DIY planter boxes that I painted white and I'll also leave the tutorial for these in that description box below. Planter boxes are one of my favorite things to make for an outdoor space because you can make them for so much cheaper than you can buy them for. To finish off this happy, cute little porch, I'm making a lemon themed wreath for the front door with some faux stems from Michael's and my glue gun and a grapevine wreath base. This porch looks so comfortable and I love how I was able to turn such a tiny space into a colorful and fun place to hang out in the spring and summer months. A few years ago, my parents built a gorgeous new lake house and I had the opportunity to help them style their little balcony off of their primary bedroom. I loved this coastal French country style balcony inspiration and I'm using it as my inspiration for this whole makeover. To begin, I'm using a rug my parents already had and laying it on the porch for some comfort. I'm also adding these faux rattan chairs with blue cushions to the balcony with this little table and I feel like it's the perfect scale for this smaller space. Next, I'm stringing some string lights along the wall of the balcony and I always love the soft glow of string lights really in any outdoor space. If you're gonna do something to your outdoor space this year, string some outdoor lights. It makes such a beautiful ambience in the evening hours. To make this Amazon umbrella look more French country inspired, I'm using some fabric hot glue and gluing this fringe trim along the edge of the umbrella. Such an easy DIY and I feel like it makes such a big impact. I made a simple DIY base for the umbrella and I'm adding it to the balcony. Then I'm using some of my mom's plants to add to the space. She is the best gardener and I always learn so much from her. I'm styling the rest of the balcony with some new and thrifted accessories. I think the combination of new and used really makes a space so unique and I'm adding some pretty floral cushions my mom made and this sweet little space is complete. I know my mom and dad will enjoy this retreat for so many more years to come. I wanted to give our back patio a refresh, so I'm beginning by cleaning the entire thing with a pressure washer and by hand because our outdoor spaces get so dirty in the winter. Next, I'm adding this old outdoor rug to my patio as a base layer to add some comfort, and then I'm layering a more colorful outdoor rug over top to give my patio more of a tropical vibe, even though we are really far from the tropics. Then I'm making this unique chandelier with a metal hoop from Michaels, some fabric scraps I had on hand, and some mosquito repellent essential oils to add some texture to the patio as well as help ward off those pests. I'm adding some comfy chairs to the patio and then creating a fun DIY tabletop fire bowl with a concrete planter, sand, gel fuel, chicken wire, and these fire rated rocks from Amazon. I love the glow of this and I'm also adding some DIY dollar store wood tiles near the doors for some warmth and then installing some upcycled lattice over our retaining wall to hide the hill of dirt behind our patio. Mm. This was from one of our lake house projects and I rescued it and I'm using it here. To complete the space, I'm adding some DIY accessories and some colorful pillows and blankets. I feel like using green tones makes this space feel so fresh and summer ready and some beautiful pink plants also add some color and some life to our back patio. I love this space now and I can't wait to hang out here again this spring and summer. Back in 2020, we bought a dilapidated lake house that was overrun with mice and needed a huge makeover. We renovated it ourselves from top to bottom, from the inside to out, including giving this back deck a complete refresh. I painted the back patio doors we installed with this beautiful warm dark blue. It's called Observatory by Bear. I love this color. And then I built these DIY planters with some treated lumber. 
I'll leave the full tutorial for these planters in the description box below. They are so fun to make and I love how they turned out. Then I'm placing some cheerful yellow flowers in the planter boxes and match the color with some yellow throw pillows on the outdoor chairs. Now this back deck at our little lake house rental looks so cheerful, looks so bright, and it's ready for our guests to enjoy for many summers to come. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you as you think about what you wanna do with your outdoor spaces this season. Let me know in those comments below which of these outdoor space makeovers was your favorite. I would love to know. Now I'm gonna share some simple DIYs that I think are gonna take your outdoor space to that next level. I'm gonna leave that video for you to watch next right up here.